Okay, so I think I am done with my one little word for 2018, and I already have my word selected for 2019, so I'll start on that uh, at the end of the month. And um, so I'm going to use the same album for 2018 and 2019. I did a whole um, little video about it. It's just a junk journal I bought at a craft store a long time ago, and then I have added my own junk to it. So um, I have this little one little word right here, and then what I'm going to do on this tag, which was actually the price tag at one point, covered up the price, and I'm going to put 2018 and 2019, and um, just want to make sure that 2019 will fit, and so I'm going to have to be a little less uh, generous with my pages in 2019. So I um, loosely modified it after um, Allie Edwards, I would say pretty tightly modified um, some of the ideas for what I did each month, but as far as the um, style, it's definitely um, less of those clean lines. But um, So I put the date and my word of the year, which was hope, last year, and um, then I did actually the Christian definition of it, um, just because that was my focus um, on hope. Is definitely a biblical sense and then I got a verse for the year and why I chose hope and then um, like this page was already here but I added these little scraps and this little um, die cut so then still in the back I did my intentions on the back of that page and I'm um, like this is already there but I added these different things and like I said if you go through you can see what was already there and then what I added now so um, this was how will I invite hope to my life and then I did some different, um, just different things about hope, like what have I done already, what should I do more, what should I do less, my fears, and what I find exciting. So that was a prompt from Allie Edwards, and again, added some sheets of paper, but this little doc was already there. And on the back, um, what will it look like spiritually, in relationships, physically, emotionally, and creatively? So, um, I answered those questions. So then for February, I, um, I think I added this little tag in here and I did a gold foil after printing, um, with that minky foil, after printing it black, um, I ran it through the minky and then on the back, actually did the reflection right here after I had done practices for the month. And so, um, I am a sticker motivated person. So I was praying for something very specific each day and um one prayer and then actually i think one of the last one of the last few days uh, my prayer was answered so it was it was a really crazy fun thing but <coughs> so this um again this little guy was already here and i just used it to record my um my practice that month then in march i did focus again um i think it was a prompt i don't know if she's the same prompt this year but from 2017 Back here, I wrote about what my hopes were, what was I really focusing on, added some pictures, and um, hopes I had for different um, family members in my life. So, And I just did that um, vellum over it, because um, I thought then you, once you move it, it becomes in focus. Uh, here's April, and um, I did questions about hope. And so, how did I find it? How do I feel with it? And what does it really mean to have hope? And so I made this little flap journal and then I answered those questions right there. Then this is May, it's a two, day, two page spread. So this is capturing hope. And um, right here, I took a little picture of one of my students and just kind of, um, since it was the end of the school year, I wrote about my hope um, for the students that I interact with throughout the year. and. Um, you know, my intentions as a teacher. So June, I started the page like this. And then what I like about this is it already had this little pocket. And so I made a little thing that goes inside of it. And then I answered question, my experience so far, one to two words, most surprising, something I've enjoyed, my challenges, how has this impacted my relationship with others, specific actions this month, other words that pop up, practices I've developed related to the word and words that I keep saying. So um, that just slips right inside there after I journaled on that. So I try to kind of keep it out so you can tell there's something back there. And then since it was almost halfway through the year, I did my end of the year goals that month. So um, just some things I wanted to make sure I refocused on and um, so that I was ready for um, the rest of the year with that word in mind. In July, I did a manifesto to hope. So I added this little envelope and inside I wrote a letter to hope. And um, 
it's just real simple nothing fancy um just kind of told what i thought of it right now um or right then so um so it lives in there and then august was another two day, two page spread so i just did august and some fun colors and then over here i wrote about this chapter of life again all of these prompts were ally edwards from 2017 um i did not follow last year but um i'm going to do it again so what am i celebrating what am i struggling and then on the back um just and this i wrote about this but i did a little picture to represent something that i had like kind of tried to pick this up my blogging i mean i've never really let it go but just kind of got re-inspired to be creative so um figuring out what I enjoy I don't know through this process I mean I know I enjoy being creative but I'm um, just recommitting to doing the things I love September I made this little page with my Cricut and um, then I just wrote the words to a song even if and it has the word hope in it and um, it really just spoke to me this last year so in other words was the prompt and so this is someone else's words then October Again, it's a two-page spread. Um, pace, rest, and joy. Um, and how applicable or how I apply those using the word hope. And then I just added this great um, Anne Voskamp quote that I found that, again, just really spoke to me at the time. Um, and it used the word hope again. I'll read it to you because it's kind of hard to see. It takes courage to listen with our word. Oh, sorry, it takes courage to listen with our whole heart to the tick of God's timing rather than march to the loud beat of our fears. Time can't dictate dreams or hijack hopes or determine destinations. It can't force us into living anything but what we believe. No matter what the hands of the clock say, underneath us all are the everlasting arms, and time's arms are too weak to rob any hope, steal any prayers, destroy any joy, or crush any purposes. Time never heals wounds like God does. It's God's hands that control the universe. The hands of the clock are bound by the decisions of our hands, and he has made our hands free to be his. And so um, I was just thinking as October was wrapping up, it was kind of stressing me out um, because I didn't feel like I had really accomplished the things I was hoping I would accomplish um, this year with this word in mind. November, I wrote a letter to myself, and... Um, I did another little quote um, about hope. I hope you come alive whenever you're traveling to beautiful, far-off destinations. And I also hope you come alive in living rooms and heartfelt conversations. Because I promise you, light is shining there too. In all that is subtle and all that is grand, I hope you come alive, fully present, wherever you can. And that's Morgan Harper Nichols. Oh, she's such a good poet. I just discovered her. And so then in this little thing, I wrote a letter to myself. Um, kind of with that inspiration behind it. Um about hope and then December was again this is going to be a three page um and I tried to keep the colors pretty subtle and um a little bit washed out so they all went together I reflected on hope and then on the back I wrote facts about my word feelings about my word and what I remember um and so I may add some things because there's a couple weeks left in December so if some things happen I left some space if not I'm done um and then right here is where I'm going to start for next year's word and I have some pages left and um it doesn't look quite as fat as the other side but I know I've added so much to that that's probably why it looks so big but got to be able to fit it in these rings um but I'm excited um I've already decided next year's word is restore so um just excited to get, get that going and I, I really think you know, my biggest reflection was this, that um, though the year wasn't quite what I thought it would be, I did not give up on hope. And because the year wasn't quite what I thought it would be, I might have otherwise felt a little more defeated at the end of the year had I not been focusing on that. So it was really a healthy thing for me. I've had a word of the year before, but I've never revisited each month with intention. So I'm definitely going to continue to do that.